does Jesus mean in Mark 8, 34, 35, when he says, if anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life for me and for the gospel will save it. I was led to other verses that I felt like maybe God was revealing to me to help me understand these verses better. So Proverbs 14, 12 says, there is a way that seems right to a man, but in the end it leads to death. That word death in the Hebrew means the realm of the dead. Ephesians 5, 8 says, for you were formerly darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. In a Hebrew study I found, it says, it doesn't say you were like darkness, but that you were it before we were rescued. We were black holes in the world, pulling creation into emptiness within us. Darkness is motion without life-giving purpose. In Genesis 1-2, it says, And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. I feel like all of this is connected to my Mark 8, 34 and 35, because Jesus is trying to reveal that there is a higher way of living. That's where he lived, and the greatest way of living is when we're not living to please ourselves. Many people walking this earth have all been fooled into believing that putting themselves first will bring them happiness, but we as Christians know that there is an eternal joy within us that is not swayed by circumstances, and happiness is temporary, and it completely depends on perfect circumstances. So we lose our life to gain a better one. In an article in Christianity Today discussing this idea of taking up your cross, it says, self-denial does not equal to self-flagellation nor self-deprecation. It simply means denial our comforts, our desires, which if not of God are sinful, our dreams, often different from his plans and purposes for us, and pretty much all that we want in order to prioritize and pursue God and his will for us. No, it doesn't mean living a boring life. It means letting go of the things that hinder us from living a full and blessed life in Christ. A few things that God showed me was that when we are not pursuing God, we are people pleasing. And instead of having the fear of God leading us, we're led by the fear of man. We also chase comforts and luxuries that ultimately leave us feeling empty. If our life is only about getting that American dream of a perfect home and nice car and all of that, we get to the climax of it and we're still not satisfied. It's because our hearts, like I said, were made for risk and adventure. It's an adventure to lay down your life. It doesn't mean we can't pursue our God-given dreams and desires. It just means that we surrender our hearts so that we can hear Him and recognize what our God dreams and what our dreams that we either settle for or we make idols. A lot of people settle for less under the guise of laying down their life. And that doesn't bring glory to God either. Laying down your life could look like pursuing an acting career. Some people are destined for it because they will bring God glory. It also looks like not being afraid of what people think when you're in the middle of the store and you feel drawn to pray for someone in a wheelchair. Laying down our lives looks different for everyone. But the most important thing is, are you leading a life with your hands opened to receive and give away? Do you hold things loosely before God or cling to them? Is Jesus fully on the throne of your heart? Or have you made your life centered around other things? A life in the cross is filled with the fullness of Christ when we fully surrender to the fire that burns away the dross of our hearts to the shine and gloss of the glory of God. Surrender yourself so you can become moldable in his hands to reveal the, his heart to the world. Remember that as you pursue God's heart for you, you become more like him. All you have to do is learn to abide in him. Surrendering your will will become easier and easier as you become more and more like Christ in your unique way that God designed you.
So lay down your life and take up the adventure of the cross. Adventure doesn't mean ease. It doesn't mean comfort either. Comfort will kill your soul. Risk will feed it. So Father God, help us to fully surrender to the life we are called to. Help us to loosen our grip on this life so that we can lead your life here on earth. Let us embrace the process you have to make us more like you. And thank you that you are patient and kind through it all and you do not force yourself on us. You give us free will. So I pray that we will choose your will instead of the will that leads to the realm of the dead. So let us live as light in Jesus name. Amen. Hope this blesses you and remember you are dearly loved and embraced and cherished and you have a perfect father who adores you. When you know how deeply you're loved, you'll know to trust him more. Have a blessed day. Thank mm -hmm. you.